Hey everybody, what the heck is going on? My name is Usman and today I got you guys the best strategy guide for Moon and Moon Remaster. And if you follow this up, you can definitely get your high rounds like 50 plus, 100 plus very, very easily. The only thing it will require you is patience and of course a little bit of focus. And this strategy works really damn good. But if you happen to be new on the channel, hey, definitely do consider subscribing. Video daily videos and live streams and definitely hit that bell. It will keep you notified for uh, future videos. Bang! streams, open lobbies, and much, much more. And this will not just get you to a high round, but I will also show you the best points building strategy, best training spots, what are the best guns to use on moon, best perks if you do not want to use perkaholic, everything like that. And uh, now a quick note though, you won't see me getting to round 100 in this video because I needed to quit to do a stream, so hopefully you understand that, but you can do this solo or with two players, three players, and even with four players. Players. And if you are looking to party up, definitely leave your PSNs, gamer tags, and Steam IDs in the comments below. Reply to each other and team up that way. And if you have a PS4, you can definitely add me as well. I will be doing a ton of open lobbies this summer and after that as well. Now, I will try my very best to make sure that this helps you out even if you are playing Moon on Black Ops 1 Zombies. But this is mainly going to be for Moon Remastered on Black Ops 3 Zombies. The strategy will be the same and I will make sure it is accessible for everyone but of course in Black Ops 3 Zombies we have things like hey gobble gums and pack a bunch abilities right but first things first I want to dive in with what gobble gums you should have now you must get all chemical it is a classic gobble gum that helps you out with ammo it's way better than putting a cash back on because that's a mega gobble gum that gives you only one max ammo but all chemical will get you max ammo and will give you some time to have some unlimited ammo and you get like like two activations with it. The next gobble gum you can get is my boy Perkaholic. It will give you all the perks, but if you do not want to use or if you don't have Perkaholic, don't worry, I got you with four best perks as well. The the next gobble gum you can use is self medication. You can go down three times in total, but you won't lose any perk, which is really damn effective with Perkaholic. But hey, if you don't have it or you do not want to use it, it's perfectly fine. You can use the classic gobble gum that's called In Plain Sight. That will come in handy if you get stuck. Uh, basically Basically for 10 seconds zombies won't be able to hit you and you have two activations and that is really damn effective. The next gobble gum you want to use is disorderly combat and that's where the strategy begins for points building. Now as you know you spawn in area 51. You get unlimited amount of zombies uh, to spawn in here. There are no wild buys here. There's no weapons that you can buy. Ba basically there's no mystery box as well but you got the MR6 which is the starting room pistol and the RK5 that's what you get if you have completed the easter eggs in black ops 3 zombies right and if you're wondering yes that's how you get the rk5 i get a lot of questions like how you got rk5 that's how you get it basically you need to complete easter eggs in black ops 3 zombies and with that you can make some points and shit like that but it's not going to be too much so what you want to do is you want to come up in here don't teleport just yet also make sure you get juggernaut to spawn in here that's like a must if you are going to get if you're not going to get perkaholic and that's the must if you are playing the original moon zombies on black ops 1 and of course you do not want to worry about gobble gum because there isn't in black ops 1 but in black ops 3 of course you want to hit the gobble gum machine uh, and uh, you want to try to get disorderly combat if you don't get it you can try it three times in total but if you don't get it after uh, you would definitely have to restart but if you do get it this will give you five minutes uh, where you will cycle through 30 different weapons with unlimited ammo and there will be unlimited zombies that that will spawn in as well. Simply get a lot of kills and try to get as many headshots uh, as you possibly can because uh, that way you will kill zombies faster and that's also one way to get a ton of points on round one. And if you get over 20k points uh, and that's very easy. You can easily get 20k points uh, and if you do end up getting 20k points you are basically going to set up really really fast. You can easily get 30k 40k by doing this and if you got double points hey uh, it can go up to 60k. 80k it is very very effective now once you run out of the gobble gum or you feel ready also make sure to be in a good training position because if you get my boy Argus or the KRM you can easily go down so be aware of that but once you are ready hey teleport to the moon make sure you get your helmet on it's very important because uh, one of my dude during an open lobby live stream didn't had his helmet on and he ended up going down so that's very important you gotta breathe and shit but now make sure you follow this uh, and go from this way 
way open all the doors you will have a ton of points so don't worry about that definitely get the perks while you are opening doors if you're playing solo uh, hey get quick revive otherwise don't buy it you do not need it uh, but make sure you get jug uh, double tap and speed cola and if you have unquenchable definitely get widow's wine so 45 perks if you are playing solo and 4 perks if you are playing co-op get everything I mentioned except for quick revive you don't need that if you are playing co-op now you want to make sure you open up the biodome area and the outside area where we have the mule kick right at this area we got a really solid wall gun which is the can 44 and I definitely recommend you buying this because uh, it's a wall weapon you can buy ammo anytime you would like to and this is going to be one of the best training spot as well now I prefer training in this area it is super super easy you have a lot of room and there is very less gravity here you can jump really high and you can jump farther also you want to try and hit the box you can use emulation liquidation gobble gum to speed up the process but it is not required now you want to try to get the zap gun which is the wonder weapon of this map Gersh device which is like monkey bombs but it's monkey bombs 2.0 that's what I like to call them but uh, you want to also get the annihilator which is the specialist weapon and everything like that now I personally recommend only having two weapons the zap gun and the can 44 because it's a wall gun you want to try and get the blast furnace on uh, blast furnace pack punch ability on can 44 and when zap gun is dual wield it acts like dead wire but one shot only kill one zombie so keep that in mind uh, I basically tested this I tested one thing out and I went down uh, if I find the gameplay or if I find the right moment in the gameplay I will have it in the background playing for you guys right now but always have your zap gun out and gather all the zombies and uh, if you get stuck definitely go Rambo go Bozo and all the zombies and use your can 44 blast furnace ability also occasionally throw Gersh devices and everything like that this is going to get you a drop mostly every single time sometimes you even get two drops and that can be max ammo nuke insta kill death machine and everything like that it will just speed you up and will make you go faster throughout the rounds and everything like that you can also combine the zap gun all together and you have limited amount of ammo so only use it when you need to it is very effective though and uh, there are two locations where I recommend you train at also make sure you have perkaholic if you are willing to use it of course you definitely want to get the uh, self medication gobble gum as well otherwise use uh, or have in plain sight now I really prefer this training area if you're playing solo this is definitely the best area to train at and also you can train and your homies can train inside the biodome and it's a great training area because uh, it's a huge ass area and if, if someone goes down there they will be very uh, close to you they will be nearby and you can pick them up really really fast now this is a very easy map and strategy hope this helped you guys out there's nothing more to add but if you have something definitely let me know in the comments below and definitely help everyone out in the comments smash a like and subscribe if you are new and I'll see you very freaking soon.